And I remembered a friend of mine, he was telling me about being a submariner. When they pulled the submarine out of the water, he found where the uh, emitters were for sending out the sonar signals and others, there was no growth. And I came across a uh, university study that was done in Duke University by some scientists. And basically they described the life cycle of the barnacle. And it starts as a larvae. And this little fellow, once that egg is hatched, swims around for a life of up to about two weeks. It has that much energy. After that, it dies. So it has two weeks in order to attach to a hull or a piling or a rock or something. And then it morphosizes into and it produces this little shell and all that other stuff. And then I started thinking about, okay, so if we could prevent these little fellows from attaching while they're swimming around, and encourage them to go and swim and attach to somebody else's boat, that probably would be a good idea. In reading the research further, I found that they were finding that uh, frequencies ranging from about 20 to about 45 hertz was ideal for discouraging these barnacles from doing the attaching. The range then that the research study suggested was 20 to 40 hertz. Now that's a very low frequency. If anybody in the audience plays the pipe organ, that's like the lowest pipe that you would get. It's a very low, low sound. This isn't to be confused with another system that's used for antifouling called ultrasound. Ultrasound is high frequency. Beyond the hearing range of us individuals, we're usually around, oh, 25 kilohertz or so. But there's a big difference between the two. The research at Duke University suggested that the low frequency discouraged the barnacles from attaching. The high frequencies don't discourage them, it kills them. And we weren't very interested in killing barnacles, we just wanted to get rid of them. So all installations are done inside, and, of course, you don't have to take the boat out of the water to do any of this. But you do need a clean surface in order to get it to actually work. Because if the surface isn't clean, those barnacles have already attached. They're not going to leave.